I feel like this video should be sponsored by Home Depot, considering how many Home Depot boxes I have back there. Hey guys, it's Suresh. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning into another video with me today. I'm back after a few week hiatus, and in case you're wondering what the heck those boxes are behind me, well, I just moved. Since I've been back in Washington State for the last six months, I've been living with my sister, and I just moved to a brand new place of my very own. I'm so very excited. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that I've been talking about my move and giving you some peeks into what the place looks like, including my amazing view. <gasps> I have absolutely no furniture, so in case you're hearing an echo in here, that's why. I literally have four chairs and a bed. <laughs> when I left New York, I didn't bring any of my furniture with me. It would have cost me way too much to transport it, and for that fee, I figured I might as well just buy a brand new set of furniture. Do you know what I mean? I was gonna wait until I felt a little bit more settled in to start filming, but lo and behold, I missed you guys so much. And honestly, I just really missed seeing my dolls. So I thought we would go ahead and get started with a brand new review. I did a poll on Instagram and a few um, Instagram lives to see what you guys wanted me to film, and overwhelmingly, it was Integrity Toys. I also got a ton of requests for Poppy Parker. You guys know that I am a huge Poppy Parker fan. So today, we're gonna take a look at Split Decision Poppy Parker. She's a relatively new doll that just came out. She was a 2018 W Club exclusive, and I believe she was shipping like back in February or March. Um, maybe even like last month. I am super excited to get in and see what she's all about. I obviously don't have any of my dolls out. Literally, this is like what my whole place looks like. It's just like a, a row of boxes and a couple of chairs. <laughs> okay, so here is Split Decision out of her uh, shipper. Oh, it looks like it's a window box. Oh my goodness, okay. So she's wrapped in white tissue like this. Okay. <laughs> I feel like it's been like a hot minute since I did a real reveal, right? The past few dolls, I've like known what they look like before I open them on screen with you guys. So, okay, I've seen so many pictures of this doll, uh, of these two dolls actually, that, and oh my God, it's heavy too. All right. <laughs> One, two, and three. Oh my God. 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 Oh, how beautiful. Wow. Oh my God. This box itself is magic. Oh, wow. Oh my God. Oh my God, you guys. Oh. Let me just go ahead and take a minute to catch my freaking breath here. Oh, Poppy, I've missed you so much, darling. I have indeed. Wow. So this is a continuum of Poppy in New York, which was last year's theme. She is, um, it's split decision, I guess, split between two different decisions. And the, the doll here on the left has the super, super popular Bergdorf Goodman screening. Uh, I believe she was the same face that they did for Poppy Parker years ago when it was um, a Fashions Night Out doll. So I'm really, really excited to have her. And then the doll on the right has this really cool, kind of very blunt cut, bang going across her forehead. We see lots of beautiful metallic silvery gold here, some white faux fur, some faux leather. We see some chiffon detail here on the right. We see a little shopping bag here for Clayton Sibley's. I'm not entirely sure what that's supposed to be mimicking, but I'm here for a girl. I am here for it. Okay, so we have two accessory drawers here. <laughs> you guys know how much I live for the accessory drawers. Ready? One, two, and three. <gasps> oh my God. Okay, so these are some boots. Let me tell you. When I first saw them in the promo photos, I was a little bit like off put by them because I just don't feel like they are jiving with the outfit. Um, they are super cute in person though, and they very much have like a Chanel vibe. So I'm interested to get them on and see how they look IRL. Next to that, we see her beautiful big necklace here. Lots and lots of, of uh, beautiful layers. Looks like it's like a gunmetal sort of color uh, of chain. And then I see some white and black stones. And then we see a little ring there as well. And then next to that, I see her beautiful little pearl earrings. There are little pearl studs. And then her little pair of sunglasses. Let's get the second drawer open, shall we? <laughs> One, two, and three. <gasps> oh, Mama Rama. Oh my God, look at these shoes. Okay, so these shoes are way up 
my alley much more my my style than the previous pair I will say they look like a beautiful pair of pumps here I see some ribbon detailing so I'm excited to open that up and see what that's about and here is her little clutch purse this also is very Chanel inspired in that it has the quilting on it. There's some tassel detail here, gorgissimo. And then here is her little jewelry suite. Wow, check out this beautiful gunmetal colored cuff with the rose on it. Oh my goodness, that's some jewelry, girl. Beautiful. Let me tell you, doing doll reviews with no furniture and like nothing around, <laughs> much harder than I thought it would be. The dolls lift out just like so, as always, and then here is the outer carton underneath here is her certificate of authenticity beautiful it's in the same color as this beautiful inset here with gold lettering and stamping mr david buttry kudos this is such a beautiful set i am so excited to have her or them actually also drag con is coming up at the end of the month what are you guys doing anything special let me know i have something really fun planned um, and I am excited to be sharing it with you guys down the line. So you'll have to stay tuned for that. You're not going to want to miss it. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, I've seen so many photos of you online from everybody else's collections and I've been so jealous. <laughs> wow. Look at this hair, you guys. <gasps> Gorgeous. Wow, you guys, oh, I'm living, 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 living. Hello, gorgeous. I have to say, IRL, this babe is really pretty too. And the dress is much prettier in person. I really wasn't crazy about it in the photos, but it definitely has like a very old fashioned um, Dior, almost like Givenchy type of a, of a feel to it. So I'm living, you know, I'm down for that. You know, I love a good historical fashion reference, honey. And then here in the box, we have two doll stands, um, one on either side of the doll. It looks like it's the white standard Poppy Parker base that's around, um, and then the uh, telescoping stands here, which you guys know I love. Um, these are obviously my very favorite doll stands. I talk about them all the time. I'm generally partial to the FR base, the clear square base, but I do love the Poppy Parker stands as well, and I use these for um, a lot of my girls that have big gowns that you can't really see. Here is doll number one from the Split Decision Duo Doll Poppy Parker gift set. And you guys, she is so, so lovely. Oh my goodness. I see what the obsession was about this Bergdorf face sculpt or face paint, I guess. It is so beautiful. I love the coloring of her hair and her complexion against this beautiful white faux fur jacket. Love that beautiful soft gold bow top there and like a metallic lame. Really, really pretty with her beautiful little hot pants here in a faux black leather. She has a big statement ring on with her little Clayton Sibley's uh, shopping bag, so cute. There are her little sunglasses and here are her little boots. Now I will say I'm not crazy about the boots to be honest. Um, I understand the point of view of the design, like it definitely like makes it much more contemporary and, and feel much younger. By the way, these zippers are hell so get ready for your fingers to be all torn up by the time you're done putting them on <laughs> you're welcome we're gonna go ahead and take everything off because you know how we do <gasps> oh my god it's long sleeved oh oh my god oh my god oh smart it's a little swimsuit bottom here this itself could be like a beyonce-esque look no i think yes here is poppy parker one of our beautiful gift set in the buff so that you guys can get a better look at her darling little PP physique. It's the same body that we have seen in all of our recent Poppy Parker collections. Beautiful dark brown hair tied into a little high pony halfway here up at the back. Very Ariana Grande and then lots of big waves and curls happening here. Gorgeous blue eyes sparkling there with a little bit of like a soft kind of yellowy butter colored shadow. Beautiful rich brown eyebrows, gorgeous nudish soft rosy pink lips with a dusting of blush there as well. The faux pearl earrings are definitely a nice compliment to her beautiful skin complexion here. Absolutely beauty must. And she does have a manicure that is the same color as her lips 
along with a pedicure here on her adorable little high-heeled feet. Here is Poppy's beautiful blouse. I really, really, really love this choice of fabric. It's a gorgeous, very soft champagne gold lame, it feels like. Um, it has that nice metallic thread running through it. Just beautiful. It has a big bow here at the neckline that is so, so gorgeous. It's a high um, mock turtleneck sort of a neckline here. And the bow does not tie or it's not adjustable. It's a kind of a pre-made bow that's attached there to her neck. Long sleeves here, just beautiful. And they have a little cuff here at the bottom. There's even a little faux button here um, that is indicating a fully functioning cuff. So cute, oh my goodness. And we see a row of buttons coming down here, center front, just beautiful. They're kind of blending into the fabric, but you can definitely see them if you look up close. So it's the details here that we're obsessed with, right? Just gorgeous. And then we do have that swimsuit bottom here, which helps keep this top tucked in nice and neatly. Here in the back, we see a row of um, hooks here one, two, and three silver hooks, and then three thread loops here to accompany that. Here on the inside, this fabric is not really one that you can really line because it gets kind of bulky and it loses some of its um, beauty and thinness to it. So there it is just like so, but because of the fabric composition, you almost can't even tell that it's unlined. Do you know what I mean? Um, there is her IT tag. Here's her beautiful long sleeve faux fur white jacket. Such a cute little piece here. Very, very simple in its construction. No openings or closings or buttons or anything like that. It is fully lined in this gorgeous kind of cream colored um, silk fabric here. It's a poly blend lining fabric that is standard for all of our dolls. It's lined all the way through. So even the sleeves are fully lined here, which is amazing. Um, I love this fur. It's like beautiful kind of like polar bear looking faux fur which i think is so chic and so gorgeous i'm very very against real fur but i am very much in love with faux fur i think when beautifully executed it can just be so chic right here's her little integrity tag here and then here it is from the back no collar um, so it really lets her big bow shine here are her sweet little faux leather shorts they are in a beautiful black faux leather fabric. Let me tell you, this is a really good faux leather. It even crinkles and crackles like real leather does. Gorgeous, right? The construction is really so lifelike. We see a seam going down at center front. We see beautiful uh, piped seams here on either side here, just exquisite. And then in the back, we have two silver hooks and two thread loops there along with a black silk facing. The whole thing, of course, is fully lined all the way through. And there is her little IT tag. I just don't know how they get these um, details so beautifully done. My goodness, they must really just have the most minuscule little machines to do these kinds of work because this is not easy work, you guys. Such a beautiful pair of little shorts. They fit her brilliantly. It even has a separate waistband here, which is always a nice touch. Here are her sweet little stiletto boots. Um, again, they're not really my style of shoe and I definitely would probably not have thought about putting this with this ensemble. But again, I appreciate the risk. I appreciate the contemporary feel it gives. Um, it definitely very much of a uh, of an ode to Chanel here. We see these beautiful side pockets with a little faux button details here. We see the black faux leather in a quilting pattern. We see lots of white trim here and the white toe cap as well. Black painted soles, white stiletto heel, and then a beautiful big white tongue here as well to keep the zipper in line. We see a little white mini zipper. So yeah, obviously the attention to detail is exquisite. Here is doll number two from the gift set and she definitely has a very different vibe to me, I'll tell you that much. I do like very much the contrasting makeup. I'm really loving these berry tones. In person, it's so, so pretty. 
Her hair is a wee bit of a mess, definitely needs to be restyled. Jewelry is all in this gunmetal kind of color and there's a good amount of it so I decided to kind of pile it all on her um, to kind of pull all these little elements out of her dress. And yeah, it's an interesting little silhouette. I do like the dress. I like this little um, side sash here in chiffon as well. Here's her beautiful little purse. Also has very much of a Chanel feel to it. So does this multi-tiered necklace here. And there she has another little bangle and a little ring as well and like a statement black stone. Now these shoes I absolutely love. These are shoes, honey. Now this is what I'm talking about. Beautiful um, pumps here with an ankle strap and a little bow in the back so 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 pretty um, this is just what I go gaga for in doll shoes so very excited about this and then here she is from the back um, a really simple strapless silhouette here I really love this fabric and it looks like the whole dress is lined just like that here is poppy number two of our gift set in the buff sort of kind of so you guys can get a look at her physique obviously i left her jewelry on as you can see here so that you can see it on the form and she has a sweet little pair of black panties so i decided to leave that on as well for you guys to see let's start with her face so i think the first thing that threw me off about this doll were in fact her bangs now i'm always down for a good bang um, but something about this is still throwing me off just a little bit. Maybe it's the fact that everything's kind of squished down. Maybe if we give her a good shampoo and condition, it'll kind of fluff back. I don't know. But all the same, I do love her makeup. I love the coloring. Um, I feel like it's not giving me the poshest of vibes with this kind of gunmetal color of jewelry. Um, maybe also I don't love the earrings with this. I don't know. Something is just not quite working for me, but I don't know. I'm going to play with it and figure it out. But all the same, the pieces individually are lovely. She does have um, applied lashes just like her twin sister does. Obviously the fa same face sculpt that we love. Um, I'm really kind of enjoying that kind of bitten, uh, bee stung cherry lip there. Gorgissimo. Lovely green eyes and this really kind of interesting uh, platinum gray hair color. She has these hoop earrings that, I don't know, I, I don't love them. They're kind of odd. I don't even know if I got them in the right direction or not, but they're just a little bit odd, you guys, the way they sit. So that's that. And then her, her um, necklace here is lovely. It reminds me a lot of what we saw in our... Um, favorite Boucle Beauty Silkstone back in the day. Um, a gunmetal colored chain here with white and black little faux pearls along the way, very Chanel-esque. I really love her bracelet here, or her cuff, I guess. It's a beautiful little cuff with a rose um, kind of uh, coming out of it. Very, very cool, definitely love that piece. She also has a little manicure there very similar in color to her lip color. There is her bangle. Um, we have seen that pattern of bangle on many a Poppy Parker before. There is her little ring. I don't know that I've seen that silhouette of ring before, but it's cute. It's um, cute, yeah. I, I don't love it, but it's, it's, it's interesting. There are her little panties. They're in that beautiful black kind of trico fabric that Integrity likes to use for their underwear. Very lifelike indeed, and I definitely appreciate that. Scrolling down, here are her sweet little feet. She has a pedicure there as well. Here is Poppy's sweet little dress. It's a fitted, strapless little sheath dress here. Um, I really, really love the fabric composition, I have to say. My goodness, it looks almost like a layered fabric. It looks like there's like a netting. Oh yes, indeed it is. A netting sitting on top of that beautiful kind of champagne colored lame that we saw the other poppies top in. And uh, I love this. It reminds me of something that Oscar de la Renta did many years ago, that Reem Akra did many years ago. Very, very pretty. Here in the back, we see the opening here. Um, we have one, two, three silver hooks and thread loops to go with it. We see a little facing in this beautiful kind of beige fabric that the inside is lined with. It's that beautiful um, polyester blend silk, which we see all their lining in. Look at all the work there, you guys. Wow, wow, wow. We see some darts here. We see all the different panels lining up. We said the bustier portion is different from the skirt and it meets there at the waist. And look at where the lining meets 
the um, front fabric. It's so, so nicely done. This is how it should be done in that the lining kind of tucks back just a little bit so that when you're looking at it from the front, you don't see any of the lining. The lining is really for your comfort to keep you feeling um, your best and to keep the outside fabric protected from the oils on your skin. So yeah, a really beautiful piece. There's a little slit here as well. Wow, oh my God, look how neat that is done. Wow, <gasps> oh, yeah, I am blown away. Ooh, and then there on the inside there, we see her little IT tag. Here is her beautiful little black chiffon sash. I very much love and appreciate that it comes off um, so that the dress is in fact its own piece. This is gorgeous. It looks like it's on like a little cummerbund almost. Um, it's pleated in three different pleats here, and it is lined here as well in black silk. The chiffon itself is double plied. Oh my goodness, look at that. Look how nicely that seaming is done. They've kept that seam allowance so beautiful so that it looks neat. The whole thing opens and closes with two little silver hooks here, two little thread loops here. Here is Poppy's beautiful little black clutch. It's an envelope shaped clutch in this black faux leather. Again, it too is quilted, kind of etched, I guess, to make it look like it's um, patterned. It has a very much of a Chanel feel to it as well. We see that gunmetal chain coming across the front of the flap here, and it's connected to a little black tassel, adorable. And then in true integrity fashion, the whole thing opens with a silver snap there and then kind of accordions out just like so. Absolutely love these shoes. Oh my goodness, they are a beautiful Dorsey pump here with an ankle strap and they have little black bows here at the heel. Oh my goodness, love, love, love so much. Um, a black uh, heel and sole portion there with a little bit of black fabric there on the top. The insoles are black fabric as well. And so is the little ankle strap here with the little functioning buckle. These things are always gorgeous to look at, but a total nightmare to maneuver. So what I generally do is use a pair of my Anastasia tweezers and um, that is how I pull them through. Otherwise, my fingers would be shredded. There is a little ribbon detail there. Just so beautiful. I love these so, so much. By the way, in case you guys are wondering, they are both the same skin complexion. So there we have it, you guys. This is the gorgeous Split Decision Duo Doll Poppy Parker gift set from Integrity Toys. They were a 2018 W Club exclusive, which means that you had to be a W Club member to get them. You guys get a chance to find these dolls on eBay or another doll seller. I highly recommend that you add them to your collection. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope that you learned something. Please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Make sure to hit that little bell icon after the subscribe button. That way you guys are notified every Thursday when I upload a new video. Find me on Instagram. I am at SureshNY. That's generally where I post all my updates. And until I see you guys again, poppies and I. <laughs> we are on our way to the Bellevue Art Museum. There is a fabulous exhibit happening there of department stores of years past. I think it's very apropos. We are dressed to the nines, obviously, and we are excited to see what the night has for us. Wherever you guys are in the world, I hope you're having a fantastic day. Thank you for joining me here at my new home for my very first video here. I'm excited to be here. I'm excited to settle in. I'm excited to give you guys a lot more fun content, so stay tuned. Big hugs and kisses for me and Poppy here in Seattle, Mwah. and I'll see you guys again next Thursday for another video, okay? Bye.